Innovators. Sponsored by Molex. One company, a world of innovation. In today's episode, a team from the Illinois Institute of Technology brings solar power to a school computer lab in rural Haiti. IPRO stands for Interprofessional Projects. Someone with an idea or someone with a problem comes to IIT, Illinois Institute of Technology, and says, I have this problem, can you help me develop a solution for it? We were approached with a proposition to come up with a solar power solution for a rural school in Haiti. They were donated about 11,000 laptops through the Give One, Get One program with OLPC, one laptop per child and ultimately they didn't have the power to even be used on a normal day-to-day -day basis. So our project is working directly with schools and largely with the Ministry of Education to develop a solar system that they can install that is efficient both in its power production and distribution and in its cost. It's about bringing in the proper infrastructure to create access to technology that will give a better quality of education and that opportunity for students who might not necessarily get it. We went to Haiti, did a site assessment on a couple schools, chose a school that was best suited to the plans we were making. The school that we worked with is called the EFACAP School, and it's located about 12 kilometers outside of the city of Las Caubas, which is about two hours with no traffic, four hours with traffic, northeast of Port-au-Prince, the capital city. In the next semester, we traveled back to Haiti, installed the solar panels, created a makeshift charging station and we also organized a library for the teachers and students and we also did a couple lesson plans on what solar power energy is. The solar powering system that we installed in August of 2011 is a 2.4 kilowatt system consisting of 10 panels on the roof of the school. They all have wires coming out of them. The wires come together, go through the roof into two charge controllers. The battery is connected to the charge controllers as well, which regulates the system, tells it you know, how much power is coming in, how much needs to go out. From the charge controller, wires come out to the combiner box, and it's a junction box for the wires, and then the wires go from the junction box to, directly to the computers, where they're charged with direct current. The main goal of this project is to improve education in Haiti, and the way we're doing that is by providing schools with electricity to charge laptops that they got donated to them. Education is really what ties the whole project together. On every level, from me learning, to the IIT students learning, to the Haitian children learning. So I certainly learn you know, what it's like to lead a team this diverse, and not just in the classroom, but going all the way to Haiti. For the IIT students, they learn how to work together as a team, they learn professionalization skills, and then they get to bring what they've been working on all semester out into the real world, experience it in Haiti, a place that they've never imagined before. And then the Haitian students, they're benefiting by having an improved educational experience. Everybody learns. It's an educational project through and through. 